Hello everyone, Age Graceful here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to all my new subscribers and of course, welcome to my old ride or dies. It is 2022 and this is my first makeup video on my own for 2022. And what better way to start it than with a new PR release of a new palette. I've been asked by the owner of the Gorman Girl Cosmetics Company to promote her brand new release, Sail Elmore, which means such is love. This is French. Look at the palette cover. You see the Eiffel Tower. There's a little bling there, all beautiful and pink. But wait until we get inside of this palette and you're going to adore it and love it even more. It's February and this is the month of love, Valentine's Day. So what better palette to be introduced and released than Say Amore? I feel so honored and humbled that Christina asked me to promote her brand new release. And I'm going to swatch it for you guys. Thank you so much, Christina and the Gorman Girls Cosmetics Company for entrusting me with this task. I truly appreciate this opportunity. If you want to see this palette, then keep watching. So this palette is a cardboard type palette, but it's magnetized. It does have a mirror. I'm going to just fold the mirror portion back so that I can show you these shades. What a beautiful color story. Let's get into the swatching. So here on the top row, the first shade is called Cream de la Cream. So I'll just swatch this one for you. This is shade number one. Let me get a little bit more of it. Shade number one. Shade number two is called Feminine. It looks white, but there is a surprise. This is a multi-chrome. And it has a shift. The base is white, but it has a pink looking shift to it. Number three is called rosé and it's an apricot type color it's a matte the fourth shade is called rouge and we all know that rouge is usually red look how pigmented that is The fifth color is called Soray, and it's a brown looking shade. Brownie pink type shade is very beautiful, and I'm drawn to this shade. The last one on the top row is called Passion. And it's another type of red, which is a little bit lighter. 
and it has a pink type of effect to it. That's the first row. On the second row, we have this shade here, Boudoir. That's gorgeous. This is a shimmer. Next to that, we have by Sauce. I'm going to have to research that word and put it up in the top. But this is a matte pink. That's pretty. The next shade is a gold and it's called We. We oui, We. Oui. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's put this here. I'm gonna get a little bit more. That's beautiful. The next shade is Say a more. And this is also a pink, but it's like a dusty rose type of a pink. Beautiful. The next shade is a brown shimmer. More bronzy, I would say. And it's called En Vanguard. And we'll put this one here. These shades are gorgeous. And the last shade is called Noir, which is black. So I would say that these shades are pretty pigmented. So all the shades really had a soft, buttery feel to them. But the white one here, Feminine, did have a little bit of kickback in the pan as I picked it up to swatch it. Other than that, I didn't have any issues. We're going to get on with this makeup look. The shades are so beautiful. I am super perplexed as to which direction I'm going to go. So I'm going to follow my heart. Say Lamar. I will not be talking about all the other products that I'm going to use today because I really want to focus on the palette. I will leave a complete list of all the products that I used in my description box area. Gorman Girl Cosmetics Company is an independent brand and was first established in 2017 by Christina Gorman. My very first introduction to the company was through my good friend and moderator Red December when she purchased the Spectra palette as a wedding gift for me. Each and every shade name of the Sela Amour eyeshadow palette will have a direct reference to something in the French culture. Before I begin, I want to lay down a solid base for my shades. I will not be discussing any of the other products that I use today. However, I will leave a complete list in my description box area. So now I'm at the point where I'm about to go into the palette and I'm wondering if I'm making the right choices. One thought that weighed heavily with me was that there was a gold and no silver and then no purple or lavender shade. So I dipped my brush into the shade Soray, which is the shade that I told you that I was just drawn to. And I'm using this as my transition and crease shade. Next, I picked up the shade Noir, 
and I'm applying this to my outer third. At this point, I am nervous as heck, but I just put it on in a very small amount and then I blended it out with my refer brush. As you can see, that very small amount of black went a very long way. I'm using very high quality brushes, but these shades are blending like a dream. And they are so soft and buttery and no fallout. Look at my face. There's no fallout on my cheeks. I'm getting good feelings when using this palette just like I did Christina's palette that time of year. Some of you may remember when Christina came to help me kick off my 65th birthday celebration on Sunday Skin and we worked out of her that time of year palette together. I created a beautiful fall inspired look out of her Spectra palette which was gifted to me. When I received that palette, there was a personalized note card inside. Christina is a very humbling person and her company provides the most spectacular customer service. I am now applying the shade Rouge to my lid space. This is the most intensely pigmented shade in the palette. I packed on a lot of this shade because after I blended it out, I went back and I applied more just so the color would be intensified. Again, you will see no fallout, hardly whatsoever. Now I'm applying the white shade Feminine to my inner tear duct corner. Applying this multi-chrome on top of the red shade actually gave me a little bit of lavender. So that gave me the purple effect that I wanted. Lavender is the Pantone color for 2022. Let's pull this look together and complete my complexion. Sometimes as women of a certain age, we have a fear of certain palettes not performing well or the formula not being quite up to snuff and that it might be powdery and fall into the lines and the creases that God has given us. But I'm pleased to say that this palette did not give that and that instead it gave everything good. I absolutely love when I'm given the opportunity to prove that women of a certain age can use color when it is used wisely. Here I'm redeepening the tail of my brows as I put on my foundation, it was removed a bit. And then I added the palette's namesake, the Sailor Amour, to my waterline to complete my look. Guys, I'm all done with my look. 
The palette is Sailor Amour. I am in love with this palette. I had the best time using this palette. As you saw, I used six of the 12 shades in the palette. And I used both the reds as well as the black. And if you look back at my videos, you won't even hardly, I don't even think that I have one video except for Halloween where I used black. And this palette, I felt so comfortable using the black. Black tends to get away from you, but with this palette, no, it didn't. And as I blended, if I needed a little bit more, then I would just tap on very little because as I said, the shades are super pigmented. So what do you think of my look? Do you think that this is a Valentine's Day worthy look? I wanted to show you as many shades as possible. And so I hope that I did a good job doing that. I just want to again thank Christina and Gorman Girls Cosmetics for giving me this opportunity to review and promote her brand new release, Say La Amour. It was my pleasure and I feel totally honored to be in this position of reviewing the palette for her. So, Valentine's Day is coming soon. I'm gonna be leaving the link for Gorman Girls Cosmetics in my description box so that you can go and get yourself a palette. Absolutely beautiful. Say la amour, which means such is love. And guys, I cannot forget, if you put in, when you order at checkout, the discount code AGRACEFUL10, you'll receive 10% off all products. How about that? And it's for everyone whether you have a channel or not. So get on over to GormanGirlCosmetics.com and use Age Graceful 10 at checkout. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone.